Thank you. My name is Thomas Chalberg. I'm the founder and CEO of Cyclass Vision, and it's a pleasure to be back at OIS presenting at the Myopia Innovation Showcase. Our mission at Cyclass Vision is to develop innovative products to stop myopia progression. We have an extensive clinical development program that includes our pivotal trial called Cypress. We first reported the 12 month results from Cypress last May and are looking forward to the 24 month data later this quarter. We've also initiated a commercial pilot launch in Canada and are building toward additional commercial launches throughout this year. The prevalence of myopia is increasing rapidly around the world, and it is believed this is due in part to industrialization and modern lifestyles, such as more time spent on reading and screen time. And as we'll discuss on the next slide, myopia is not a benign condition, so this increase is incredibly alarming, particularly in East Asian countries where as many as 80 to 90% of young adults are now myopic. Myopia is not just about needing to wear glasses or contact lenses. It happens when the eye grows past the point of emetropia, and this elongation of the eye is associated with increased disease risk, including glaucoma, retinal detachment, and myopic maculopathy. And importantly, there's no safe level of myopia, and since risks increase as the severity of myopia increases, every diopter counts. The goal of myopia management is to decrease progression such that the adult level of myopia is reduced. And if we show here for a theoretical patient who is otherwise destined to become highly myopic, any intervention is helpful, but really starting as early as possible is best because we know we can only slow or stop progression. We cannot yet reverse it. The Cyclass Vision lenses, called DOT lenses, function through a novel mechanism of action. We made a genetic discovery that led to the understanding that High contrast on the retina, whether simulated through genetically driven myopia or through children being exposed to high contrast visual activities, leads to myopia development. To address this with a therapeutic device, we modulate contrast on the retina to block the myopia inducing signal. Furthermore, with DOT lenses, this is accomplished using light scattering centers, which function in a virgin's independent manner, meaning that they work at both near and far distances, and the impact on visual acuity can be minimized with this technology. Interestingly, there have been a number of previous optical devices which operate on the principle of myopic defocus. That is to say they feature plus power in the lens periphery or in rings or lenslets, which shift the focal plane out of focus inside the eye. Interestingly, this also has the impact of reducing contrast over the corresponding area. So these two technologies, which are very distinct from a mechanism of action perspective, may be functioning through a common pathway in the sense of modulating retinal contrast which we believe is related to the development and progression of myopia. Here are some actual pictures of our glasses, both on and off of a patient. And as you can see, they have a normal appearance. Our pivotal trial to evaluate the safety and efficacy of our spectacles is called Cypress. This is a robust, randomized, controlled, double-masked clinical trial that we're conducting at 14 sites around North America. We enrolled and dispensed lenses to 256 eligible children between six to 10 years of age at screening. They were randomized into either control lenses or one of two test lens designs. Test one is the product that we are launching and test two is a different design. This is a three-year study and we have planned interminalities at both 12 and 24 months. We're conducting many assessments of the children, including our co-primary endpoint assessments of psychoplegic autorefraction, as well as axial length by optical biometry. After the first 12 months of the trial, there were very few adverse events. Again, these are spectacle lenses, which are classified as non-significant risk by FDA. There was only one related event in the test arms, which was due to a spectacle frame nose pad causing skin irritation on one of the subjects. Also, all measures of visual acuity remained clinically stable on average during this first year. In terms of efficacy for the first 12 months, we have plotted the axial length change from baseline results on the left graph. While the control group progressed by 0.3 millimeters on average, the test groups progressed by only 0.15 and 0.2 millimeters. The graph on the right shows cycloplegic autorefraction change from baseline. The control group developed 0.54 diopters more myopia, while the test groups only progressed by 0.14 and 0.22 diopters. All of these differences were highly statistically significant. For test one, the product that we are initially launching, this equates to a 74% reduction in refractive error change versus control over the first year. This graph shows the proportions analysis of subjects with a change in cycloplegic autorefraction of less than a quarter diopter over the first year. 65% of the test one arm had less than a quarter diopter progression versus only 23% of the control group. This difference again was highly statistically significant for both test arms. 
We asked the clinical trial patients a number of questions about their experience wearing DOT lenses. Here's an example where subjects were asked to agree or disagree with the statement, in general, wearing my glasses bothers me. As you can see, more than 90% disagreed or were neutral, which was similar to both their experience in their habitual lenses before starting the trial, as well as for subjects in the control arm who were wearing normal single vision lenses. In February, we were very excited to announce that Cyclops Vision was acquired by a joint venture between Cooper Vision, Cooper Companies, and Essilor Luxottica. Thus, two global leaders are joining forces to commercialize these products globally. So in summary, Cyclops Vision has novel myopia management spectacles that we believe will be an important product for myopia management. It's a spectacles-based solution, which means they're easy to use and are worn in place of regular glasses and are appropriate even for the very young children. This is based upon the highest quality clinical evidence, which is including an extensive clinical development program, a large multi-center randomized control trial designed for regulatory approvals, including from FDA. The manufacturing is highly scalable. It's based upon a unique and extensive IP portfolio, and we're very excited to have terrific partners in CooperVision and Essilor Luxottica to commercialize these lenses globally. And I'll end there and say thank you for your interest and attention.